Hey. Hello. Hello. What's your name and where'd you come from? <laughs> oh, my name's Hubnut and I come from Wales. <laughs> You're going to get punched for us. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's a terrible accent. <laughs> but better than mine. It's all right. I'm a genuine Welsh speaker here as well. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How, how are you? You're doing an amazing job, by the way. Thank you. Did you sleep well? No, because we kept waking up. Yeah, well, we've not been well. <laughs> oh, what? oh, no, what, you're poorly? Yeah, just full of cold and it just kept waking up in the night. I've been like that. Which, well, is, which is why I was back on your live stream at five o'clock this morning. Mm -hmm. mm. And shortly after you. Yeah. I, just set, I just thought you'd set the alarm. Nope. Oh. But prepared to be fully lazy. <laughs> so how's tricks? Yeah. Could, could we just give um, Alex a bit of um, credit? Because yeah, his great, stint yeah. was very enjoyable. It no. absolutely flew by. <laughs> and he bought bacon. When, when, yeah. He's he's a good lad. When he um if he comes to drop a car off or something like that, it's a bad day because I'll just start we just start talking and then we look at the clock and two hours have passed and I think well that's two hours I'm not charging for. Yeah, talking, that doesn't sound like you. He can out talk me. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, I go quite quiet when I want to go home. Um, if I'm not doing a live stream for 24 hours, <laughs> but um, hey, it's not 24 hours anymore. No, I'm. I think I'm two thirds of the way there. Yeah, you are over. Marching through it. over now. Uh, I thought the day would be easier than the night, but I'm not. I'm not convinced at the moment. It's um, it's not even like I can go outside and have a look round. I can go outside and have a look at that red zantia later on if I'm scratching around mm. for things to do. Can't get in it. Ah. Your locks don't work, so I'm going to be getting in it with a brick, I suspect. <laughs> but um, it'd, it'd be entertaining viewing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing it now. Oh, okay. It's raining. Oh, it's, oh, it's lovely here. here yeah. No, yeah, but when you're in Wales. Wales is known for its tropical climate. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say it's tropical. Freezing, no, yeah. freezing. I'd describe it. It's uh, oh, where's my temperature gone? I'm waiting for it. 18. Nice. Nice. It's about That's Alex's four, body right? heat. Mm. And, and all the McDonald's. Yeah. There's loads left. I feel bad. Well, You've got, some you got some way to go, to be fair. Yeah. I started to feel a bit sick when I was eating. <laughs> so I started mm -hmm. chowing it down. And I thought, I had a carbonara not long before. <laughs> I bought my so eating, eating clock's gone out. A question for you, sir. Yes. What what have been your highlights of your lengthy live stream so far? Learning there was a car called a Lancia Mega Gamma. Yeah. That oh, is cool. that it? Is that the only thing? Um, Reggie Wedge made it, didn't she, from Grand Canaria? Did she? Yeah. Reggie Wedge. Oh, sad to have missed that. How did that go? Oh, yeah. Did you do the quiz? Oh, no. no, you didn't do it, did you? Oh, yeah, mate, the quiz was really class. We're um old. We have to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the the um uh, Becca's uh quiz. Was about uh, serial killers. Oh, oh God, no! God, it's my favourite subject matter. Serial color killers, and because she's a criminologist lecturer or something, oh. and um, one of the qu and the questions were all to do with serial killers and their cars. Mm. And one of the answers was Ford Fairmont. Oh, awkward. Awkward. Saying nothing. <laughs> Mind you, I remember you going through the boot of the car you are now sitting in. Mm, this is true. That's yes, a questionable. No, 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 that's fine. Because we established that the um, uh, contents of this car make it too obvious to have belonged to any undesirable character. Are you uh, sure? But, yeah, because a serial killer would have left some clues because they like the chase, but oh, they yeah. wouldn't have been they wouldn't have been like that many. What if this was just... their second car? Oh yeah. And no, I don't think so. Mm. And they laden it with serial killer stuff, but actually they were doing the killing in their other car. Could be. You mean as, yeah, but if they were going to use a car as a decoy, they wouldn't use their second car. They'd use somebody else's car. It does stand out, but it's very memorable as well. Yeah, but isn't they it? do love. They do love psychologically. They love the chase, and they want almost the thrill of nearly being caught. So you seem to know far too much. I mean, about Bundy, this. he had a beetle, didn't he? And he used it over that and was over. One of the questions. I got it right. 
Yeah, he had a white beetle and he used it over and over again. So they're not, they do like the catch, nearly catch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did really well in the quiz. Apparently did better you? than her students will. Oh. Whoa. I was feeling quite proud. Mm. Um, and we did, um, yeah, Wrench and Wench is just on holiday. <laughs> Um, she was awake till I think she went around quarter to four or something like that. <laughs> Good grief. Yeah, she, was, be, she went a bit later where she was. No, it was, that was the crazy thing. She went when her parents got in from the pub. Yes. Wow. That's... When they fell through the door, like Peter Ooh. Griffin style, like that, she was like, oh, I better go now. Oh, we really have so, missed a holiday. That is how to do a holiday. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, she, there was that, um, and then after her, we had Rusty Rose Adventures, um, yeah. which was an eighteen-year-old. Oh, he's back. He's on. An eighteen-year-old lad who is living in a Luton van box. But it's not his first one, is it? Because I had a little look. That's not his first camper. Am I right in saying that? Um, probably... I can't yeah. remember if he said it was his first. He's built mm -hmm. others. Yeah, that's it. I can't it. remember that's if it. that was his personal one first. Yeah. I can't remember. Um, but he spent more time repairing the chassis on this thing. He's taken the box off the off the chassis and he's been welding the chassis up mm. and living in the box. Wow. Cool. Living. Box. Oh, no, I'm not up to singing. Oh, dear, the voice see, is not see. there. <laughs> was that what that was? That, no, that was that me was trying. Yeah, my voice is utterly gone. Yeah, mine's well, all right at the moment. We've got questions in. Um, questions? Yeah, Finley, would a car with seven fails and 18 advisories be worth repairing? Oh, that that no. depends very much on the fails. But didn't you say it's a Citroen C8, in which case I would run a mile? That, that yeah, they are trouble. Car. Yeah. I love them. I trouble in a capital T. Yeah. Isn't that um, the one where water goes from the scuttle into the cam belt? <laughs> Lovely bit of design. I don't know. To be fair, you're looking at someone who built a Hillman Imp who's built it so that water goes in from the scuttle at the back into the top of the carburetor. Oh, nice. Water injection. Water injection, yeah. Involuntary water injection. I thought it might mm. increase the compression ratio slightly, mm -hmm. which it has quite a lot, and then it won't turn over. So, Ah, uh, bad times. Yeah, but... Um... Oh, oh, that was a question someone asked. Did you once have a brown Rover P6? I did. Nails. Tobacco ah, leaf. Ah, very interesting. Say no more. People who were there last night will know, but Ford Fairmont, Brown Rover P6. Ian, are they suggesting you're a serial killer, darling? I've never owned a Beetle, though. <laughs> Yet. You did Yet. watch Sarah and Tuned rebuild. I though. did watch Sarah and Tuned yeah. rebuilding a Beetle recently. Yeah, she put huge off road tyres on it, which I don't entirely agree with. Well, maybe oh, she was boy. going off road. Really no, she, she just likes to look. And now she's giving oh. it away. I mean, it'd be too obvious to be a serial killer around here. Well, oh, yeah, everyone knows everyone already. You'd never yeah. get away with it. You've been thinking about this. Some people drive me to it. Well, that I guess I'm working in customer services for you. Yeah. Have you been thinking about this? I have, from time to time. Mm. <laughs> Carry on normally. Yes. <laughs> it helps the day pass. Mm. <laughs> Working in retail. Uh, I'm going to have to um, take a drink. Oh, I was just going to go and pop off and make you a cup of tea. Oh, that'd be lovely. Oh. Yeah, never say no to tea. But I just saw I have a small spade, cable ties, and a rope in my boot. The only thing missing is duct tape. Oh, they have duct cable ties. Worryingly, <laughs> that's someone I've travelled in a car with. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> when we were trying to make oh. Betty's lights work. <laughs> In New oh. Zealand, oh. you just love dropping that in, don't you? Did you know he went? Well, there's, to there's quite a Australia. few people <laughs> it, coming in and out of I know here, but, are, but have worked them. on Betty at some point, yeah, indirectly or directly. Look at his face; he's like, "Do not talk about that bloody car." <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I blanked. I blacked out for a minute. Yeah, yeah. I know she has that effect on you. <laughs> Ever heard of the Lancia Salami? It's a yeah. Yes, there was a serial killer uh, in South Wales who appeared on Bullseye. I believe he's either the cousin or the friend of somebody that I know. 
Nice. Mm. But I, not, don't think I, mean, I didn't make that connection. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Fairmont, Brown Rover <laughs> P6, and you fraternise with serial killers. <laughs> it, it's all, yeah, it's all yeah, a bit too close for comfort. This. I'm uh, glad I'm not engines, in Wales. Peugeot engines with a fan belt that wrapped around the engine. That's not unique to Peugeot. I believe the Honda N600 and Z600 had a round-the-corner fan set up as well. Fan belts are going through 90 degrees. Really? Yeah. I've never seen that before. Yeah, because I, I, I think it's a transverse engine layout, but they wanted the fan in, in front of the engine where the radiator is. So they had a round the corner fan set up. Oh. Which well, sounds like it that. shouldn't work, but somehow it does. I should pop up and make your team. Okay, thank you. Sounds like it shouldn't oh, work. Yeah, of course, the Corvair has that because I um, managed to throw the fan belt on one when I was driving it. What, just by driving it? Pretty much, yeah. It, it just went a bit hub nut. <laughs> Lancia Carbonara was a rubbish car. Apparently, I didn't say that. Mighty Cat Mods. Mm. Uh, what else is there? Does the Defender Ooh. count as a hubnut car? I think it very much depends on the age of Defender. Um, how am I holding up? Rosie. Well, I mean, you're still going. I was a bit worried at five o'clock this morning. You, you definitely looked like you were dropping a bit at five o'clock, yeah. but then Alex turned up and forced bacon into you. Oh, f Alex is like a whirlwind of enthusiasm. Hmm. Yeah, and I know he's a legend for coming down with all that. But, um, yeah. Well, I've got the Lucas aid on the go now. Excellent. So I Have couldn't bring myself to buy one. I've got some there, but they're black currant. They'll taste minging with that. Oh, yeah, it won't be a good combo. Um, but uh, my throat's all right at the moment. Excellent. Maybe it's when you stop, because when I do the NEC, it's the morning after. I get up and my voice is about two octaves lower. You sound, like, quite cool and mysterious. Yeah, or frightening, one of the two. Oh. Did you see Aging Wheels' um, axle try to fall off his Reliant Robin? Yes, that looked exciting. That looked fun. Mm. I, I was terrified, but he's working on it and he's lifting it up while it's up in the air on the stand. He's just like, this is all going to go horribly wrong. My, when you put cars in the two-poster and you're hanging off them, they do move about and you think, that was really moving about. That really <laughs> that was. looked like yeah. it wasn't even on the ramp. It looked like it was teetering yeah. on the transmission jack or something. No, I do um, like Aging Wheels. Yeah, he's good. He is good. He sent me a um, bit of um, window glass out of his bus. Excellent. To, to to do what with? It's on display. He got it engraved. So it's got my name and Aging Wheels oh, okay. logo. It's very nice. Oh, I thought you meant like a shard of glass. No, no, it's a little little rectangles. He cut them all out and engraved them and sent them to his patrons and channel members and friends. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no, I thought you meant he just, like, sent you a sharp shard, of, like, a, like a threat. No, no, thankfully not. It was friendly terms. Oh. Um, Alex is a legend. Words I never thought I'd hear. Well, there you go. Um, oh, have I recovered from the NEC flu? Not entirely, no. No, I'm still pretty full of cold. But the kids have been bringing home cold from school, so it might not be anything oh. to do with the NEC. They're a nightmare. Not your kids, I just mean kids. Just bringing things home from school. Yeah, thank you for clarifying that, because, you know, we quite like them. <laughs> no, my, they're just, like, if they go to school after the summer holidays, you know what's coming back. Yeah, lurgy. Someone will have something. Um, everyone keeps going about Sarah N. Tuned. I've no idea what they're talking about. Uh, YouTube channel. Uh, she um, does car restorations to uh, a far better standard than me. Oh, okay. What, so she, you mean she does them? Yes. And she, she also has a pretty silly sense of humour. Oh, okay. Um, oh, she does amazing stuff. 
Speaking of uh, silly sense of humour, Finley Plimpton says there's a £500 C6 on eBay. Oh, well, that's a risk. Yeah. Do you need two C6s? I think you do. Oh, no, not for me. No, I, I don't. Um, I've probably got one too many C6s at the moment, if I'm honest. Arguable. I do see your problem there. What do you do with a C6 that isn't well? Well, it's not, it's not unwell so much. Um, I've managed to get the gearbox. It doesn't thump going into reverse anymore. Nice. Um, it, it still won't hold on the brake in reverse, but uh, but yeah, it doesn't thump going into reverse. It, it's changing gear okay. Mm -hmm. um, getting a little bit caught between gears now. I think the fluid needs doing again. Um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's not a cheap car to run. It's it's just it's the tax. And well, that's that the extra expensive fuel. Well, you know, I gave up with that. I started putting oh. the normal stuff in it. But you didn't, didn't want to borrow it. Well, well, at the time I wasn't, and then it, when it went up again, and I, I just thought, hang on, it's two pound fifteen mm. for that stuff, and I thought, no, no, I can't do that. And you put no, twenty liters in it, and it costs you like fifty quid or something like that, and you mm -hmm. think, no. Um, so um, I started oh. putting normal stuff in, but that's still one pound ninety two a liter or something like that, and it's it's just. It's impractical. Andrew's just asked what transmission the C6 uses. You better answer that because I managed to get it wrong in my own video. Um, my brain is slightly broken. Oh, uh, Basin Warner. Warner AM6. Can't. Oh, where's where's Chris when you need him? Mm. It will be fast asleep. Um, yeah, yeah. No, it's um, it's nice and Warner, which is a subsidiary of Toyota. Um, so it's a Japanese gearbox mm -hmm. used in many vehicles: Vauxhalls, Saabs, Volvos, uh, all sorts. Um, and I think it's called an AM6, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, it's uh. It's apparently it's quite a nice box. Hmm. When it was on song, it was be beautiful. It just slipped through the gears. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it got it got pretty good. When we took it to France, it was actually doing really well. Um, yeah, that, that was very convenient. Oh no, the Ford is broken. We'll have to take this lovely Citroen C six to France. I was secretly quite excited. Um, but I was also a little bit full of trepidation because. Well, yeah, the, I was feeling uh, sorry for the one of your sons that ended up in the middle. Well, they took. Well, I say they took turns. One of them didn't. One of them just point blank refused. So, it's not um, really a five seater, is it? No. No, as uh, someone said on Facebook. In fact, I think it was the old owner. He said it's uh it's for two um, dignitaries and their bodyguard. Mm-hmm. So um, the jump seat for the bodyguard, but okay, uh, yeah. there we go. Ha -ha. Yeah, it's. Um, oh, I had a nice time driving it there, apart from the fact it got up to about thirty-five degrees, thirty-six degrees Celsius, and I had no air conditioning. Yeah, and it does spoil the serenity somewhat opening the window in that car. Yes. Yeah. In the yeah, in the winter, it's nice because mm. you have all the windows are up. But. Um, yeah, it's uh oh god he's left food here as well. <laughs> oh man, there's tons of food here. Sausage and egg McMuffin. Sorted. Another sausage and egg McMuffin, awful. A bacon and egg McMuffin. This video is not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> I feel bad. I can't eat all that. I'm feeling sick as it is. Um, can you reheat McDonald's like that? Uh, when I was pregnant with Theo, I used to have a thing for the cheeseburgers. Obviously, McDonald's 23 miles away. I used to freeze them and then microwave them. <laughs> freeze and it? And like, fine. And Theo's fine. <laughs> no, I'm thinking more of you. Oh, me? I'm fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, that's an interesting idea. 
Yeah, I might try then, that. Then you can freeze all that food and then feed it to Alex the next time he visits. Yeah, when he buys a CX. Mm. Which he's threatening to do. He needs to. <laughs> but um, my Toyota has a Welsh gearbox. Okay. How many... What automatic transmission companies are there in Wales? Yeah, I'm prone by that one. Mm. Then there was a fair bit of manufacturing in the south of Wales. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ford, Ford still got its engine factory in Bridge End. Oh, I don't know. Tim has asked me if the C6 gearbox would I consider a thorough, a through system flush, a thorough, I think it's thorough system flush when it's running. Um, China advertised it where it pumps the fluid through and into a filter and back until it's clear. Yeah, it'd be a great yeah. idea, but I should imagine that'll cost. Yeah, how many liters of fluid are you going to need? Sorry? How many liters of fluid are you going to need to do that? That's going to be quite a lot, I imagine. Well, yeah. Yeah, if you, if you keep pumping it until it's clear, I mean, I imagine, could you strain the fluid as it comes back out and filter it? Well, I think that's it, but you're still going to need some for the system as well as the gearbox yeah. on the car. It takes about eight litres as it is. It'd be easier to convert it to electric, I think. <laughs> I think the C6 would make a good electric car. Hmm. I, I actually think it would be quite because I don't. I think it looks sort of quite fresh. I, I don't think it looks too dated. No. No. But um. Uh oh. Hang on. Ford and Bridge End do make gearboxes. There we go. There we go. So we're up to five, five three three one, five thousand three hundred and thirty one pound. That's incredible. Uh, that is, that is remarkable. Yeah. Yeah. That is. I told you you were onto a good thing with this. I yeah. I mean, well, I was happy because I thought it had got to a grand, so I was <laughs> made up. But, yeah, people have just gone, you know, it's just blown up. It's mm. amazing. Yeah, it is. Ooh, that... it, it is. It's, it's almost, I'm almost a bit, like, speechless on it. Oh. Richard but, Atwood um, had a 79 Datsun 160J Triple S. Is that the Violet? It's so confusing with 70s Datsun. But I like the sound of that. It's funny when people ask if things are hub nuts. Like yeah. In such and such. I remember once you bought a car and someone said that's not very hubnut. And it's like, about, I bought like, it. So you it literally is. bought it. So yeah. it kind yeah, but, of is. Yeah, but it's almost like something that has a dictionary definition now, you know. Yeah. Hubnut. <laughs> I won't go what, into what, the. What, what would the dictionary definition mean? What would it say? I, I dare it. He sat next to me, but, you know. <laughs> with this... you know go on. Well, we're talking it's about the thing that's a bit broken. It's got a bit awry, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, it, it's accurate. I can't deny it. <laughs> if if Belingo's not right, broken. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Belingo's fine, isn't it? Well, it is now, after the um, suspension snap. Oh, yes. Yeah, but they do that. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, the, a couple, uh, of couple of grand later, it's doing all right. The, uh, what's it, the um, Betty is working fine? Yeah, not leaking transmission mm -hmm. fluid after being, Still. you know, fettled by the number one Aussie Ford specialist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you took it somewhere else as well then? Uh, <laughs> no. No, she's exclusively yours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's good. I'm really happy. <laughs> but, um, I missed the aircon actually in the summer. The aircon was. Oh, yeah. The aircon is superb. <laughs> it, well, yeah, it is. It's, I don't know. Is it on the level of the Saab I had? That was. Pretty impressive, the, the Saab. Um, well, the, the previous generation of AU had, um, you could turn the air conditioning on, but then it was like air conditioning plus. Ooh. What was that so for making you, obstacles? Yeah, apparently, yeah. I the, it does um, get quite warm in that old Australia, doesn't it? Well, the Saab I had, I remember I had the air con on once in the middle of summer, and I was driving down the road with goose pimples, like goosebumps. Impressive. And I was, oh, and I opened the window and it was about 27 degrees outside and the hot air just went. Pfft. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that was really impressive. Um, I think Betty, 
maybe not quite there, but then a bigger cabin. Yeah. Mm. A bigger cabin to fill. So apparently the C6's aircon is great <laughs> when it works. Uh, does your name Hubnut have a history? Well, sort of. It, it all began as Classic Hub, and I've realised that I was doing electric cars quite often, because despite what people seem to think now I'm driving a Fiat 500 electric thing, I've always liked electric cars, and I realised that wasn't very classic, so it kind of evolved into Hubnut. Grumpy Talk said if he was watching a telly programme the other day, and they said if this episode was a car, it would be Hubnut. Yeah. Mm. What program was that? I would chase that for rights. Yeah, yeah. There, there was an Australian channel. Wasn't it about what was Doctor it? Who? They were yeah, it was about. an Australian channel mm. talking about Doctor Who, and uh, they described an episode of Doctor Who as being a bit hubnut. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like a cult hero? Yeah, it, it wasn't very well put together. I think was the point. I was loving everybody the... giving their definitions there. Yeah. <laughs> was it? Um... You got quite well known in Australia then. You like a sort of cult hero. Apparently, without realising, yeah. <laughs> no one told you. Mm. Um, There's been a few people talking about the V6 turbo diesel being the same as Land Rover. It sort of is, isn't it? It's the same engine, really. But the um, the block casting is different because they've got a different bell housing pattern. And the Discoveries use a big single turbo, whereas the C6 and the Jaguars use two smaller no, twin turbos. Mm -hmm. So the Discovery doesn't make quite as much power. Um, I think it's in the one I-180s, low 190s, um, but it makes about the same kind of torque, but it comes in lower. Mm -hmm. It's got more of it. It's set up more for lugging, basically lugging the weight around. Understandably but, so, yeah. But they struggle. That's I mean that the discoveries would struggle. That engine struggles in them. Mm -hmm. They snap crankshafts. Nice. Which, um, mm. you know, which is which is not optimal, really. It can ruin your day mm -hmm. if you're out and about. Um. So yeah. Uh, I don't know about the three litre. I mean, the three litre is largely the same engine, but I don't know if they addressed any of the problems. It was the, they, they, they used to snap because the it's a very narrow V6 and the um, between the two of the journals, the big end and the main, the web <laughs> goes like that. Oh. And what? It's all right, we're just that's looking at someone's comment. At the bottom. Oh, no, that's the wrong button. I've lost the comment. Come back, Jack. Come back. There we go. My Adrian partner said I would come under, come the, under hub the hub nut definition. Yeah. Oh, Adrian. That's quite the insult. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's... um, Yeah, they, they snap crankshaft, basically. Because the engine... The engine... The, the discovery is just too big and heavy for that engine, I think. Hmm. Someone's saying, why did they put plastic inlet manifolds on the V6 Land Rover engine? Why did they put plastic manifolds on anything? Oh, we're quite sore about that. We're quite that? sore we? about yeah, that. Yeah, we are a bit sore about but that. But we do have a gasket for our charade, so maybe next week is the week it finally lives again. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no, I've dropped a skittle. Um, uh, Simon, while, while he's hunting for skittles, uh, there should be a link to donate in the um, description of this live stream. Look for the just giving now. link. I think you did. But yeah, that's the best place to send money is to the Just Giving. It is, yeah. I mean, it's all to... Let's see if we can get it up to six. Oh, yeah. I think that's easy. Plenty of time left to do that. Yeah. You think it's gone, then? <laughs> I've got five. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> we, we donated very early on. I know. I'm very grateful. Oh, look at you being like... Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I think you're fine. <laughs> I think you'll find if you scroll back down through the list, we're one of the first names on there. Oh yes, I forgot that the um, V6 turbo diesel was also used in the Ford Territory. Mm. Yes, <laughs> which, which which you definitely need to encounter, Mister Kitch. Scottish. One of those Australian Fords. Mm. Scottish car enthusiasts in Trains TV aircon. Where a driver do not need aircon. Ah, yeah. Then he just clarifies and 
I, oh, I love aircon in Wales. Though, do do not have aircon. So, so damp all the time. But the aircon oh, dries. Yeah, but we have many discussions it. about the aircon because you like it really cold and I really don't. <laughs> True. But aircon can do hot as well. Yeah. Yeah, Ian doesn't do that. He just has it cold. <laughs> well, I'm very Unless you've got a TVR yeah, Chimera. Oh. If you've got a TVR Chimera, it only works on cold. Okay. Because the aircon is a switch. And um, it's on or off for the main system. Mm -hmm. And then when you take the coolant dial, the, co the temperature dial round to cool, when it gets to the coolest, it hits a micro switch and cuts the compressor in. Uh huh. So you can't have it any other way. Oh. It's just cold. So it's, yeah, it's good. Mm. Yeah, Mr. Kitch does love the Aussie Ford talk. Just because he has a reputation for TVRs and Citroens, he just can't show it too much. Is that what it is? Yeah. What, out of loyalty to my existing customers? Exactly. We know the reality. To be fair, I think Kitch loves the story of Betty, but just hates the car. Yeah. I don't hate the car. You don't hate the car? No, not really. Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> we'll book her in for a service. <laughs> we are supposed to be servicing her. We haven't done that, have we? No, no, we did service her. Did we? Yeah. You've got to do that for your content. Yeah, yeah, we, we definitely did service People her. People want to see tinkering. Lost track entirely. Just haven't changed the spark plugs. <laughs> oh, no. And you were just they're they're, si they're sitting on the centre console and it'll happen at some point. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> When's the last time you changed the oil? It is summer. Oh, is yeah. it? Yeah, she did 14,000 miles between oil changes. I but, thought you were going to uh, say in New Zealand. Thankfully not, no. <laughs> <laughs> no the, um... Oh, yes, the, the, the curtain clamps. Oh, someone had a someone had a bad time about that the other day, didn't they? <laughs> mm. Yeah. We just had to clarify, they are nothing dodgy. Yeah. <laughs> what, the clamps? Yeah. Mm. I mean, if... <laughs> Pretty big. <laughs> it might be a little oversized. I didn't have a lot of choice. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not asking any questions. Daddy, you're not mm. helping this situation. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's move it swiftly on. A aircon in a Zara Picasso is pants in reality. I don't know. I don't think I've ever tried the aircon in a Zara Picasso. Neither have I. Because I had a Zara Picasso, but the aircon didn't work. Uh, I can confirm we are not in Betty. I've, who thought you... I don't think it looks like a Fairmont in no. here. It's all rather chaotic at our place at the moment because I've got the ingenious idea of um, making the best of the space that we live in because we're not moving. Um, so everything Box is chaos. everywhere. So yeah. this is making it look slightly reasonable. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... Um... Yeah, I would say that. Uh, I wouldn't say it looks like you're in a car unless they're looking at me. Does this look like a bet like a Betty, like a Fairmont? Oh, maybe. No. No, uh, no. That. Uh, do you know that headline is better? It is a better headline, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to say it because Betty's headliner is still staying up. It is still up, so that's something. Has it still it's got a hole in it? No, no, it, it hasn't got a hole, hole in it. It's oh, actually yeah. got all the Jesus handles reattached. Hey! Yeah. I just hate it, so we're going to do it again, again. Oh, no, we're not. It's yeah, fine. we are. Well, yeah. I saw you trying to stick it on there, and you're like you're holding it like this, and the wind's blowing a gale. Yeah, <laughs> it may not be, and it's got glue on it, and it's like smooth. folding over on itself. Just like I'm just <laughs> watching, going, "Oh, this is like like Chuckle Brothers. It's brilliant." The first time it was, I was so cautious, so careful, and then the second time, I know you had to take it off again. I know. I just a nightmare. There's all dust blowing <laughs> off the ground. On <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect condition. But we do actually have another headliner in our um, personal storage unit, so it will be happening again. Yeah, but that needs you, real you could bring well. it home and do it indoors where yeah. there's no wind. Well, we don't actually have the room to put no. a headliner. It's a big old headliner. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose so. Or well, you could do it in the unit. Now you've got rid of some cars. You could push them out no, and then. Just Set up a table. Yeah, but he went and put Betty in there, didn't he? And it, she's taken up like all the space. Yeah, Betty would have to come back out again. <laughs> so the alt sit's gone. Yeah. Yeah, both alt both alt sits are gone. Sardin's One of them gone. got sold. 
Mm-hmm. And one of them went. Well, technically, they both got sold. The other one is sadly, it's it still exists up at Tanagoy's in one piece. Well, we assume we haven't Possibly. seen it. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> and then you've got, uh, and Foxanne's gone because Foxanne's yeah. new owners in. Foxanne's gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then so I've actually managed it. I've actually managed to downsize a bit. Yeah, but then yeah, you've got, another... got another car. I did. Well, I got given the Daihatsu. You can't say no to a free Daihatsu. <laughs> well, it's actually that's worked out all right, hasn't it? Yeah, it's even got yeah, working aircon. Little car, actually. She's, she's... As long as you don't like going up hills, and that's not a problem around here. <clears throat> Just don't actually... go out of town. Yeah, no, even the town's got hills. Oh <laughs> yes, I remember finding one of those. Yeah, that was when the BX got stuck. Oh, yes. I must yeah, apologise no, well, for your loss of tri- tire tread. It wasn't stuck because it was moving. It was just moving in the wrong direction. Yeah. It was the opposite direction to what the wheels were trying to do. Yeah, the wheels were doing about wow. 20 miles an hour forward while the whole thing was going backwards. Yes. Which hill was this? Um, going up um, the little back road over there. Oh, oh, okay. Because I thought going through town with a trailer will be a bit of a nightmare. So, we'll take so you took him up there? No, yeah. Might not, should have filmed <laughs> I it. I pulled it into this there. road. I went up this hill and I thought, oh, I hope to God no one comes the other way because I'll be knackered. Oh, that's always when they do come the oh, other yeah. way. Yeah. And it was, yeah. A, it was an SUV as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like the ultimate kick in the face. Yeah, can't possibly reverse. And um, so, yeah, I stopped. And as soon as I stopped, I thought, oh, I'm knackered now. Yeah. I've had it. And indeed, and I, went you were. Pa- I went past him, past the SUV with like tire smoke pouring out the arch of the tire, doing a burnout. Just... <laughs> yeah, oh, that we so could have videoed that. Yeah, would have would, would it have been funny or would it have been reckless? Mm. I mean, oh, I, didn't it, really it, of... the hill. I didn't have a lot of choice, really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all right. You would have given the village something to talk about for a couple of weeks. That is true. I think the rubber marks might still be there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> one, one of my Michelins has got less tread on it than the other one. Yeah. That it's poor a, car. That um, had a tough weekend. It did, it, it, it did. It did really well. Though. It is, and you wouldn't know now. Honestly, mm. it's, it, it drives really well. It's it, it pulls. For what it is, it pulls great. Just how, long um, it been off, how long had it been off the road? Since 2007. Wow. And it was only about, wasn't it only about 25,000 miles or something? 17. 17, gosh. 17,000 when I put it back on the road. And then when I came to Wales, uh, it had been back on the road two weeks, I think. Wow. Um, and hadn't stopped breaking down. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, that was uh, it was a, brave a stupid trip. idea. Mm. Yeah, I, the worst one is when it broke down after I dropped the trailer off at Mushdi's place with the fox. Mm-hmm. Um, the first when I got there, and then I went to try and find my hotel, and I was too late to get anything to eat because everywhere would close. And there was a road that went to the I can't remember what village it was in, but the road was going like this up the hills, and it was on a sixty limit road, national limit road, and it went around left hand bend, which was completely blind because it was like around the side of a, a big bank, and mm-hmm. it just died on this hill. And I'm, I'm, sat, I'm, like, I'm literally on the apex. I'm, if a truck comes around the corner, I'm like that. It's not going to stop. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, it was like I was, I was so stressed out, and I managed to get it going. And I'm, there was this like gate entrance to like this forest, and I remember pulling into this the entrance to this. It was like a forestry commission gate, and I pulled in there, mm-hmm. and I just stopped, and I just like the engine off, and I just looked at it. I was just broken. I just thought, oh, oh, I can't keep yeah. doing this. Giselle and, did um, that to us at uh, one point. Sorry, right on a blind. Giselle did it to us right on a blind bend. Just um, lost all power. And it's you the problem. Just so if you're going uphill, do I do? Yeah, those hills there. They don't take. It doesn't take long to stop. Does it? No. No, no. It's not like you can keep rolling. You just mm, like that, and then. Yeah, it was it was stressful, but I managed to I got it sorted after I took the um, second filter out. I think it was no. Did I take a filter out? Or did I clean it? There was a filter I removed while we were up 
getting the fox loaded, which is you came up yeah, as well. You, you definitely cleared one out, I think, doing that. I, I cleared one out, and I think I removed another one. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, it it drove home the whole way absolutely fine. Uh, really, Rob, really Rob well. Hoyle, you know, rightly suggested if you get wheel spin in a front wheel drive car, turn around and reverse up. You were towing a Reliant Fox on a trailer at the time. Yeah, there was that was the, yes, I, I would have got up the hill if I wasn't doing that. Yeah. It would have but, made its uh, way up. Yeah. I mean, the two C, the two CV had made its way up the hill, so I would think that the BX would have been okay. Mm, um, if it, it wasn't, be, uh, it was the great big iron homemade trailer on the back of it with a reliant spot. I see uh, Indecisive joined from Wales. Ah, mm. so why is Indecisive he's, in Wales? He's on Hollybobs. Oh, excellent! Good choice. He's it's coming to see you, Ian. Yeah. But he's had a bit of a traumatic journey, so I hope he's all right. Oh, no. Yes. Did he take the V70? Um, I'm, I, I'm a bit dazed and confused as to what's going on, but yeah, he swapped cars. They went he one and one and then swapped over. Oh. He asked Twitter whether he should take the V70 or the other one. Yeah, this is a problem. Democracy doesn't work. Yeah, don't ask other people. Yeah. There we go. Just there Just choose. The he took the V70. Oh no! And then had to go home again. So, so he basically said the other day, "I'm going to have a bad day taking the V70," and then took the V70 and had a bad day. Oh dear! Did Are you, you film it though, me? Dave? If did you film it at least? Yeah, should film. It'll just say no. At least if you've got, a, you know, YouTube, you, you have no such thing as a bad day. You're just like, oh, well, it's content. Yeah, because it's not a bad, your it's a bad day, out. but it's a good video. Yeah. And you got there at 1am. Uh, Finley, we have seen that we BX in Cardigan. We have seen that BX, yeah. Somehow we're uh, avoiding buying it. It's isn't it? No, it's Cardigan, I think. I thought it was Sandersil. No, Sandersil's uh... where the um, Daihatsu is, isn't it? No, I thought the BX was. Oh, okay. It was somebody's project car, but they can't complete it. I'm staying um, away. Indecisive, Dave. Um, what phone have you got? You're the last person I'm filling in on my phone issues thing. I've got some dash cam footage. Please be Android. Please be Android. Ah, uh, yeah, but he, Dave's very technically minded. So if anybody's going to get around it, he he's will. He's got a oh, one okay. plus Nord. Okay. It's not even just Android. It's he's given us the actual yeah. model, uh, the make and the model. Yeah, it's Android. That's it. <laughs> we're all right. Android. We're all right. Well, if, it's not, if it's not iPhone, it's Android, pretty much, isn't it? Yeah. So the only people who've got through with iPhones are Katie managed it, mm -hmm. and hers is an iPhone 10, which apparently is ancient. And Matt Tyson managed it, and he's got an iPhone 11. Yeah. So it seems to be the older iPhones are the. So the older iPhones. Mm can do it has oh, anybody God, failed the... with an android yet i don't think so there's a gs mm. by rotor for sale apparently that'll be silly money though Darling, G yeah gs by rotor <laughs> is about twenty five thousand. i think uh, that, that's a, a bit more than that day, i then. think yeah they're <laughs> very very silly money someone said the other day oh rusty rose was on an iphone 12 uh -huh. okay so that's true I think it does make a difference old... where you send the link, though, because you sent the link to me on Messenger and it wouldn't work. You sent it to me on Twitter and it works. Mm. I sent it to Steph on Twitter oh, okay. and email uh, and, and WhatsApp, uh, and it wouldn't have right. it at all. Um, really and I think with Jack as well, with number 27, I think it was doing the same. Mm. Um. Someone said the iPhone had a YouTube update yesterday. It's just, yeah. You know, it, if it had to be on the phone, it had to be on the phone. You know, it's it's just the way it is. It would have been nice to get. I mean, I managed to get some people working. You've got yourself. I know Whiteland works. Um, hopefully, JM will work. Oh, he's he's up pretty soon. Oh yeah, who's on next? We've only got five minutes left. Isn't it um Furious next? JM. No, this afternoon, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh it's JM on cars. Mm. Okay. He's a good chap. We yeah, like but I 
He's uh, always oh, in the chat. JM on cars. What phone have you got? I had you down as an iPhone guy. Did you assume his phone? I'm loving the fact <laughs> everybody just, because we've been here a while. Everybody's just pausing just to see what phone it is. Yeah. Everyone's <laughs> on the edge of their seats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No way. you are slammed down, my friend. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I had him down. Actually, no, I, w I shouldn't have done that because he's he's a techie guy, isn't he? He had all the camera gear. Yeah. So oh, he would. Yeah. If, you, yeah. if you want Android, yeah. If you want Android, you can be really selective about the hardware. Oh, goodbye, Fox and Follies. Yeah. He's got an Oppo. Oh. So have I. Yeah, like Oppos. Yeah, that's, that's what we're on at the moment. Right. Well, then we should be okay. So, um, do, you need to, do you need to have a break or anything before we vanish? Or are you good? Well, so we can sit here and just jabber? Yeah. <laughs> Rather than um, just have an empty back seat. I could go for a wee. That's probably a good idea. Yes, off you toddle now. <laughs> you have to do preemptive wees, you know. Yeah. I'll go, yeah, I don't want to get caught short because I know Whiteland works. Um... So J James should work. I um Whiteland should work. Matt Furious, any idea what he's got? Uh, um, I'm starting to remember. You, you live with him for a few I'm, days. Yeah, I'm, pre you? I'm pretty sure he has Android because I think we were using the same charge cables. But now, I'm, now I'm trying to think. And then the only one we don't know about is Charlotte Valden. Who knows? Mm. He's got. She's got an MGA. She's got taste. She certainly has, yeah. So she might have an Oppo. <laughs> Don't laugh. No, it's just no, you're going to be like the... the it, it was just a T going down funny. You're going to be the phone professional by the end mm. of this. Yeah, the channel oh, will have morphed. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go for a wee. I'll oh, be back in a moment. Right here, yeah, she'll fill time. Yeah. Somebody was asking about your mug. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not using an official mug. Um, I'm using a beautifully handcrafted book, <laughs> which, which is working very nicely indeed. Yeah, I love I love how we're making assumptions on people's phone choices. <laughs> mm. Oh no, everyone seems to think Matt's an iPhone guy. Oh no, you stayed with him for oh, three no. days. We stayed in Bob together, which you was um, a mixture of pleasant and not so pleasant. Why not? So but nothing to do with each other. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Bob was rocking that first night. Excuse me. Yeah. Wind. Um, out, oh, which out, kind of out, wind? Outside the bob. Um, it was a rough old night. But, uh, yeah, it was... Uh, no, overall, I think it was a pleasant experience. It's, it's having an mm. awful lot of money over a hotel. Oh, no, JM's judging everyone by their phone. Okay, well, we're coming to you from a Samsung something or other. And then another Samsung by the side of it. <laughs> yeah. We like our Samsungs, it seems. We do. But I have got an Oppo, and I think some of the New Zealand trip was recorded on Are the Are you Oppo. trying to be in with the cool kids now? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool <laughs> with my Oppo. We don't, we don't think you're a terrible human for judging people on their mm. phone choices. <laughs> Matt keeps the doctors away because he loves apples. Okay, well, he does strike me as a healthy chap, so maybe there's something in it. Maybe. Do you know, the, I, I haven't heard about these OnePlus phones. I'm, I'm I've intrigued. heard them mentioned, yeah. OnePlus is similar to the um, Oppos, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, Huawei. I had a Huawei. Mm. I, I love my Huawei. I was half expect you to have an old school separate receiver and mic on a stand. Ooh, something to be said for <laughs> oh, it. no, that's a bit posh. Usually we have like a mic on the end of a spatula or something like mm. that, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, heads up, the new calendars were not visible in the calendar section of your store. Oh, okay. Thank you. I might have forgotten to put them in the right section then. Well, that's that's a bit of nut. Cheapers. Uh, from today, the iPhones are a bit of nut. Yeah, don't talk to the, the, the hublets have um, iPhones and uh, trying to get electricity into them is, uh, the phones, that is, uh, quite difficult. Did you just see that, Robert? New crime drama. Detective Kitch pushes an SM around the Isle of Wight, judging people's Yeah, phones. brilliant. I'd watch. Uh, any plans for a Hello Happy Progress this week? We hope so. Yes. We have yeah. a gasket. We do. We do have a gasket, but I'm really nervous, and I tentatively get excited, because 
We've just had so many issues at this point. Yeah. And what if it's not that gasket? Oh, take back, take back everything you said, folks. He's back. <laughs> yeah, stop talking about him now. He's back. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, good to talk to you. Enjoy your, well, I'm not wrong. Have a good day. Yep. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll hang out in the live chat a bit longer and then we've got to go off yeah. on a run for uh, another charity event locally. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, no, it's, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it's good. Well, it's not good, but it's good that you're doing it. I, th hmm. I think it's going to be an emotional day, but I think it's going to be um, quite lovely in the same way yeah. you know, from something that was very, very tragic. Yeah. yeah well, vibe. If you're still about at the end of the day, I might, I'll might, i still be here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, we definitely hope to come and tune in. I might be horizontal on the on the back seat, but not sure we yet. Might... So. We um we probably have you running to be fair as much as we can in the Welsh hills and valleys, um whilst we're doing the run. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you go too quiet, we're just going to phone Alex and get him to come and poke you with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Have I told you about this van? A baby blue van. That looks intriguing. Did you see it? Yeah. Is it is it cool? <laughs> or is it just it's a Volkswagen a Ford bag? Okay, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's, it just looks like a Ford Transit Connect type thing. But just baby blue. That's just mm. an interesting choice. Well, I did. It was dark. Okay. Uh, okay. So I didn't actually know it was blue. But right. Okay. Well, thanks for coming. No, yeah, you're welcome. You, you're, you're doing a very good thing. Yeah. You're doing amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's, what if it's ten now? Literally. Flying Seven hours. It. That's less than a working day. More than two thirds. You've got this. Yeah. You have. You have. Right. Yeah. You might not see me for a little while after this one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Well, cheers for coming. Yep. We'll see you in the chat. The fundraising and that. So I'll uh, probably speak to you later. Yep. Bye bye. Yeah.